You seen the thumbnail, you read the title, here it is, Cajun Shrimp Linguini Pasta. Let's get it. Okay, so let's go over these ingredients. Right here, we got chicken broth, right? As you can see, it's not a whole lot of ingredients to this right here. You know what? This right here, just about everything that I use, you know, when it comes to seasoning, this right here is my go-to, just that Creole kick. That's this right here, and this is what it looked like right here in the bowl, right? We got cloves, garlic cloves, fresh squeezed lemon juice. Y'all tell me down in the comment section below, what is that? I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the screen anyway. You know, that's that W sauce. Look, we got a little bit of this hot sauce. We got garnish. This right here is just our parsley. You can see it's the curly con. I got it separated. Look, these are two tablespoons each of butter, right? You're gonna have some lemons. You know what? I like the way lemons look on camera. You know what? You can see that I already done squeezed it. And then here, we got salt and pepper, right? Now, let's talk about this pasta. You can use any kind of pasta you like. For me, I'm gonna go ahead and use this linguine, and it says right here, this is number seven. That go by the size, it's up to you. They got some that are even wider, wider strips, but this right here is good. You can use angel hair pasta, whatever you got in your, uh, your cabinets, use that. And then right here, oh, uh, yes sir, that right there, that's the shrimp. Look, we got one pound of shrimp. Already deveined, and you know, tails off, they already peeled the whole shebang. Now. You see this, we're getting ready to go ahead and let's go ahead and just make this happen. Now look, I wanted to say this before we get into like, you know, getting our shrimp together, right? And making our sauce. First of all, look, look right here. I went ahead and just made my pasta already. I just asked you guys, look, follow the directions that's on the box of the pasta that you making and just follow those and just make these. Other than that, I'm talking about a 10 minute prep time, a 10 minute cook, and then, and then an extra minute to get it in your belly. Hey, super easy, let's get it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start melting our butter. Okay, so my butter's melted. I'm using, oh, by the way, I'm using a medium high heat. Now you wanna go ahead and get your shrimp and just go ahead and just add them. You want them to be flat, you know, face down, flat, flat side down. You don't want them to be like laying on top of each other or nothing like that. And then, uh, you know what? I should have said this in the beginning. It'd be best to get yourself a pan that's big enough so that you can get one pound of shrimp in it. Now it depends on the size too, the shrimp that you buy. You can do this with extra, extra large uh, shrimp. Now, look at these right here. You see they start to turn pink really, really quick, right? So now I'm taking my Creole kick. And then for me, I don't do nothing without a, a couple of grinds of this pepper. Now, get yourself some tongs. And now we're gonna flip them over. Okay, we got them all flipped. Now I'm gonna go ahead and continue to put the rest of the Creole kick on it. Now, now that that's done, you wanna go ahead. Of course, I'm using my press, y'all. You wanna go ahead, get your garlic, get my edge, and we just wanna go ahead and put this in here, and we are gonna cook this until it becomes fragrant. Now, what I'm gonna do is, we are just gonna move some of these around like this. Now, these probably been on, I'm gonna reduce my heat down a little bit, down to about 350. These are actually, about ready right so we're just moving this around just giving it just a hot second or two for the garlic to cook i like that right there now let's go ahead and move on to the next step okay now you want to go ahead and pour yourself a half a cup right you want a half a cup of your broth love it you remember that when we was in school we learned how to cook and use a uh, measuring we're supposed to get down to eye level to make sure everything is right all right, so anyway, look, got this. Now we're gonna add this, all right? Oh uh, yeah, let's get everybody flat again. Oh yeah, hey, listen, you wanna talk about smelling incredible? This right here, the aromatics just coming off of this is lovely, folks. You see that? Look, remember I'm using an induction top, so you notice it gets hot right here in the center and then it works its way out as far as the heat. But with the heating element right there, look at this. I'll move it so you can see. That's why you see the boil right away. Okay, so now, Look, we're gonna add our lemon juice. 
our W sauce and our hot sauce. Now, we're gonna go ahead and let this come back up to a boil. Move this around and mix this. Okay, so this right here is a nice boil. It came up nice and quick. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna turn it off, right? While it's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and add my butter. We'll just put that in there and we're just gonna let the heat from that melt this, right? So this is all you gotta do. The reason I cut it off, we don't wanna overcook this, uh, overcook our, you know, our shrimp, right? So we'll just let this melt. It'll do its thing. Just move this around. It'll work its way down. Now, meanwhile, while that's going, let's go ahead and get some parsley together, right? So I should have probably had this already cut, you know, and already uh, chopped down. But we're gonna add this for a little garnish because look, it's gonna be fire when we're done with it, folks. Okay, so take a look right here. You see the butter? Just to, in a little bit of time it took me to, you know, chop up my uh, parsley. Look, this right here, you might as well call that melted, right? So with me stirring this around, making sure that that butter has mixed with all of the rest of our goodness in here, you know what I mean? Uh, you'll see it just disappear. I can feel how soft these are just by touching them. You know, uh, this right here is gonna be fire, folks. Now, we're gonna go ahead and use a little bit of that, that parsley right now, just to give it a little sprinkle. You know what I mean? Uh, this is gonna like level up the dish. You guys can look. A lot of my dishes, listen, they so customizable. You know what I mean? Uh, you can like look and see what you got in your refrigerator and clear some of them things out. And if you've been following me for a minute, you know I got that andouille sausage on my mind too though, right? But we are gonna go ahead and leave it like this just for this video. But I'm just gonna go ahead and give this a little, little mix. Let everything marinate together. And guess what folks? It's pasta time. I'm gonna just start adding a little bit here and there. All right. I just add a little bit at a time. It, it makes it much easier to mix and get everything coated. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and kick back, let you guys take a look at this, and just you can see how it's getting coated. Hey, that right there, that's that fire, folks. Look at that. You guys can tell me, hey, what you think about this recipe down in the comment section below. You know what? And tell me how many people you're going to make it for, who you're going to make it for, and when you're going to get down with it. Hey, so you see it, y'all. Hey, we finna get down. Hey, you just see how you... I don't even want to over talk this for real. You know what I mean? I'm just going to take it. Hey, let me get down like this. You know what I mean? I got it. I don't want to get the spoon, put it on the bottom, and turn it and all that kind of stuff. Hey, look. We're going to keep it. 100 like we normally do you know what i mean i'm gonna eat it regular i got this right here i'm gonna go ahead and bring this over the top like that and check this out folks cheers mm. been a long time since <clears throat> you know something like made me just like completely speechless this right here is fire folks listen if you like shrimp scampi this is the meal for you now let's talk about the things we can do to level it up even more i suggest having it like this just for your first time right but look if you got that andouille sausage you can add that you got a little chicken to it you can do whatever actually these kind of meals right here is good to go in your refrigerator look in there and see what kind of meat you have and you can add those there also Hey, listen, I can tell you this, this is finna be a super quick, you know, outro. Why? Because listen, I'm already hungry. This right here is super fire and that's it. Hey, so check this out. Listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe and tell everybody out there, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And with that being said, you guys, I got some shrimp linguine and a nice sauce with my name on it and I'm about to get it. I'm out. Peace.